In this video we are going to create an expert advisor for the standard deviation indicator. This indicator will show you when the price change is stronger than the price changes before. It is calculated on the last 20 candles and the idea is that after a big price change you might expect the next price change to be much smaller and if you have a very low value like here you would expect the volatility to rise. You can see that we have very small candles here and from here to about here the volatility got bigger so the indicator had a higher value. If there is low volatility and the market is going sideways the standard deviation indicator will show you a low value near the dotted line here. Now how can we create an expert advisor that uses the standard deviation indicator? Well first of all please click on this little button here or press the F4 key. That will bring up the meta editor and here we will select file new. Select expert advisor from template, click on continue and we will call our expert advisor simple standard deviation. Now click on continue, continue finish and remove everything above the on tick function. We don't need these two command lines but we will need an array to hold our price data. That will be a double array called standard deviation array and we will define it by using this function for the current symbol and the current period. We will use 20 candles no shift. We will calculate based on the simple moving average for the close price. Okay, in the next step we want to sort our array from the current candle downwards by using the function array set as series. And now we need to fill it with data by using the function copy buffer. This will fill our little array according to the standard deviation definition we have created here. For the single buffer, that means the indicator only needs to have one calculated line, from the current candle downwards for three candles. Now that we have defined everything, we can actually go and calculate the expert advisor for the current candle. We will use normalize double with six digits for the current candle of our standard deviation array. And in the last step we want to output the text standard deviation value and the calculated value we have created here by using the command function that will create an output directly on our chart. Okay, that's basically it. So let's compile the expert advisor that worked without any errors and any warnings. So now we can click this little button here or press the F4 key to bring up the MetaTrader for our strategy test. Back in the MetaTrader please click on View, Strategy Tester or hit the Ctrl and the R key. Now you should see this panel here and we will select the simple standard deviation.ex5 file, mark the visualization option here and start the test. And here we go. Let's stop the test here. And now you see that the calculated standard deviation value here matches with the standard deviation value from the indicator. In real life trading you would wait until you have a high standard deviation value here and then you would use another indicator, for example a moving average, to decide if you are going long or short. Okay, now you know how to calculate the standard deviation value for an expert advisor in MQL5 and you did it with a few lines of MQL5 code in the meta editor.